Hello and welcome to News Click. Nothing drives us more than standing in solidarity with the people's movement. Our teams are on the ground covering these movements extensively and hoping to bring out a change. In this segment of We Protest, we bring you a roundup of various movements and protests that have taken place across India and in the world in the past few weeks. Various left parties and other organizations had given a call for protest against Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's visit to India. India has been a long-time supporter of Palestinian cause. But since BJP has come to power, there is a change in this stand. Modi was the first Prime Minister who went to Israel but didn't go to Palestine. This protest was organized in support of the Palestinian cause and demanding that this oppression in Palestine be ended as soon as possible. Israeli Sarkar, who is a whole entire Philistine Jantake Adhikarwar, who is a whole entire Aisai Sarkar, who is a whole entire Aisai Sarkar, who is a whole entire Aisai Sarkar, who is a whole entire The other protest that took place across India was of scheme workers. Scheme workers are backbone of various government schemes, be it Anganwadi, ICDS, Midday Meal, or Asha. Their demands were that they be recognized as permanent workers and be provided 18,000 rupees as minimum wage. Sometimes these scheme workers end up earning at max 2 to 3,000 rupees per month and it is hard for them to sustain their livelihood out of it. The scheme workers have been neglected since years and the protest was against the same. They took over the streets all across India and more than 50 lakh scheme workers participated in it. A march was also taken out in Delhi and a memorandum was submitted to the Prime Minister's office. In every state, the new laws and policy of the name of the Anganwadi Worker Helper is harassed. More than 100 countries are meeting in Davos for the World Economic Forum. But there are also a series of protests taking place against the same. The protesters have called World Economic Forum as a capitalist bluff. When there is a growing income inequality across the globe and also there is a wide income gap, the protesters believe that the issues World Economic Forum will discuss are the basis for the same. In 1997, India's GDP was only less than $400 billion. Now, after two decades, this is almost that's all for this week. To know detailed reports about these movements, visit our site newsclick.in and go to our Facebook page. And please, feel free to join any of these movements you can relate to. Thank you.